click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have discussed about the chemical reactions of sulfur and now in this topic we are going to talk about the preparation of sulfur dioxide. So now let us understand that is by how many methods we can obtain sulfur dioxide. So friends, now in this topic, we are going to talk about that is how sulfur dioxide has been prepared. So starting with the first one, that is, we can easily prepare sulfur dioxide from sulfur. That is, if sulfur undergoes a combustion reaction in presence of oxygen, obviously at high temperature, then we can convert this sulfur into sulfur dioxide. So for that, we should need a condition that is, we have to, that is, provide certain kind of heat so as this sulfur, it will get oxidized with oxygen and it will produce SO2. But in actual practice, sulfur doesn't react with oxygen by its own. Obviously, we have to provide a high temperature. So therefore, whenever the sulfur is burned, it produces sulfur dioxide. So this is one of the method. And now let me talk about the next one. The next is we can prepare sulfur in laboratory. And this is basically known as laboratory method. So the thing that we have to do is we have to consider that is Na2SO3, which is known as sodium sulfide. And we have to treat it with dilute solution of HCl. So it has been found that is the main product that is what we could get is sulfur dioxide that is SO2 along with that of that is 2 moles of NaCl and along with that of that is 1 mole of H2. So this is what we could obtain SO2 in laboratory by treating sodium sulfide with dilute HCl. So this is one of the method and now let me talk about the next method from which we can prepare sulfur dioxide that is suppose if we treat copper sulfate with that is concentrated sulfuric acid that is 2 moles of H2SO4 so therefore the compound that is what we could get or the product that is what we could get it would be that is CuSO4 so this is what we could get again we could get that is uh, H2O as a byproduct and we could get that is our main product that is SO2 so this is the product that is what we could get but the thing is we have to balance the reaction also so here basically we are doing that is here basically four hydrogens are there so therefore i will multiplying it by four and if you talk about that is sulfur so therefore here it is basically two moles of sulfur are being used so therefore here sulfur is there and here already a sulfur is there so that's the reason that we don't have to balance sulfur dioxide over here so here therefore the h2 or basically we could say that is the hydrogen atoms are being balanced so talking about the sulfur sulfur is already balanced and this is how basically we can obtain sulfur dioxide and now let us move on to the next one the next is we can obtain sulfur dioxide by industrial method also that is we have to consider pyrites and that is iron pyrites that is four moles of fes2 and during this the combustion reaction would take place over here and that is the reason that the product that is what we could get is 2 moles of Fe2O3. So this is the main product that is what we could get and here it's basically the pyrite it will be oxidized so as to form that is Fe2O3 and the main product that is what we could get is Fe2O3 while the byproduct that is what we will get over here is basically we could write it over here as 8 moles of SO2. So this is how basically we can obtain sulfur dioxide. So therefore this were the various methods where we can obtain sulfur dioxide and that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I'll see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.